I love collecting things. When I find something that's been used, I wonder whose was it? Where is it from? But you can go so many places with it, and that's the kind of the beautiful thing about it is I will never know what it where it's from. You know, I'm forced to create my own story with it. I don't know why or what the answer is, but I just know that's something that I feel and that I'm drawn to and I feel like it's important. My grandfather was born in 1896. Uh, my grandmother was born in 1904. The area where I grew up in Louisiana was very rural. Like I knew people that still had outhouses. Some families I knew didn't have like running water in the house. I mean, Louisiana was very slow. Being raised during the Depression and being raised very poor, like they, you know, they wouldn't throw anything like this away. I'm like, why is someone throwing that perfectly good rake away? But yeah, like, just the fact that this little uh, screw is sticking out of here, like I love that. But like, what happened here? You know, this is the kind of stuff that I think about. We are now going to go to a couple of uh, thrift stores that I. Uh, Go by and look for items, objects that I may be interested in for the projects I'm working on. I like to say the world is my art store. Everything that I encounter, whether it's at a thrift store or at Home Depot, or, is a possibility for me to use it even in my house, because my kids say that I steal their stuff all the time, too. They'll come to the studio like, you stole this from me! <laughs> this may have been at a bar, could have been in somebody's house, like all the discussions, the conversations, the, you know, everything that's been used with them. I just kind of like this metallic quality of it. I think one of the great things about using different materials as opposed to paint is like people will see something in the materials and they can connect with the materials whether they connect with the piece or not. It's like an, uh, a little door that's open to the person experiencing it that they may not otherwise have. With the project that we're working on, the sculptures are the same thing, even though it's in the 3D form, it's still things that somebody may have a relationship with, you know, pre-existing relationship with. Performing arts was sort of the theme behind these. So I've chosen things like tap dance shoes and playbills and film reel to reels and um, signs from aisles from theaters. Uh, trumpets and musical instruments, violins. I mean, a, a Broadway production, there's so much that goes into it. One object could represent, you know, hundreds of people. My hope is that the people in the residence that work in those industries will feel a connection with this, like they can see the instruments in there and say, oh yeah, like that's, that piece is for me, or that represents me. As we move more and more away from actually doing things with our hands, you know, I'm curious to, I'd be curious to see what this concept would look like a hundred years from now. 
for me, it was just always been about the work, just making the work, making the work, and um, you know, the legacy stuff. It'll be that'll be up to my children or whoever. <laughs>